a really good fish. Is this a game winner? It could be. Oh, oh nice fish. Well, I might need you to net him. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Oh, you still got him? Just like hold on, I, I think we can pull okay, it off. Okay, guys, the so. best way to get to the best water fast is you tell these guys that they're big fish upstream, <laughs> and it's not that hard of a row. So yeah. we'll we'll see if it works. It's called winning, you know. It's called winning. All right, have fun winning, guys. Right. Yeah, good. We'll see you guys downstream. See you guys, Did y'all see anything right. poking their noses up? No, nope, but I saw some betas. It's half the battle. Betas. I know. So we're halfway there. Halfway. All right, fellers. See you down there. Overcast April day, floating, just the two of us. We're swapping out today. Might see betas. Might see streamers. Might see streamers. Might see nymphs. And I might get in. Negative eight points for not shaking your boots. Dude, <laughs> how could I forget the etiquette? <laughs> hey, look, we're being followed by a Pavati. <laughs> It's a gold digger. It's a gold digger. It's not as functional as our old hide here, brown boat. I bet it's plenty functional. Looks like it has speakers expensive. built in. All right, let's go find some fish. Ooh, this thing is not shy with a fully loaded nymph rig. Oh, might have been a snag. But gets the blood a pumping. Nope. It is not a fish. That is what we call a snag. Fish number one was not a fish. All right. I'm two for two. Broke off. The last one was my whole nymph rig. So I'm going to buy my box here. And I don't need as heavy flies. So. We're going with the holographic Frenchie and something else. All right, let's find some nymph eaters or some streamer eaters here. Or just a whole bunch of... Guess what? That's not a snag. That looks like a broom troot. He's going a little nuts up there. Okay. I'll get us over here. <laughs> Cheech on uh, Ore Patrol. I lightened them up. I went with a holographic Frenchie and a little, uh, it's kind of like a darker thread Frenchie because there's a lot of betas around here. He is holding firm in the current. Anyways, we came up in this neck of the woods for a couple meetings with Sims and Winston crew at Trout Hunter Lodge. We're just fishing in their backyard. Oh, net it! Hey, thanks, Since man. I rode you into it. He rode me right into it. A good fish. Really? Not too shabby. We got him. We got him. It's a nice brown beta cedar, I bet. How big do you think he is? Got to put a measurement on him because there's big fish contest, and on the oh, that's right. On the fish pond, there's a measurement on the hand. Hey, well, he's hefty. Oh. That is a hefty fish. Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's measure him out. It's about an inch down, so he's 17. No, 18. 18. So, uh, yeah, just a note here on this nymph rig. I'm using this fancy new Sage R8. Uh, pretty nice, actually. It's uh, just throwing a nymph rig. This is a Scientific Angler's amplitude but mpx so i can cast a big gnarly nymph rig even though this is a lighter nymph rig with a smaller indicator 
anyway, it'll get the job done. Here come the birds. Okay. Birds, swallows. They're swallowing betas. Birds. Birds, bears, bears betas. betas. Battlestar Galactica. They're everywhere. So we stopped for a jerky break. And uh, we're waiting for some noses. Saw a couple downstream. Well, they they should go. Man, the bugs are blanket. This could get pretty good. Oh, yes. Betas, the hope. So we'll bring out the green stick. A little five weight action for some dry flies. Man, these birds are psyching us out. I have expecting to see some fish any day so it's dry fly rod rigging time right there what? a nose Where? just like 20 feet off about yeah, there's another one okay they're starting to poke their heads dry fly time hoochie mama giddy up maybe the birds are scaring the fish off uh, that's it the birds they're just putting the fish down I can see it in their eyes. Jerks. All right, I'm going to mess around with the camera for a sec. Dang it, I didn't know you were casting. Yeah, I should have sorry. paid more attention. There were like five that started rising though, right, right before I heard. Perfect. It's weird because he came up and just really, really slow, nonchalant. And they had been just kind of sticking their backs out of water. This guy, because of I was fishing an adult, came all the way out, so. Oh. Awesome. That looks fishy. Few fish popping, that's the bottom for sure. But for as much bug activity, there's not a bunch of fish coming up. Not a nope. Tree. I think this is my third tree of the day. Tree, tree pounder. <laughs> yeah, we got him. I'll check it real quick. When I catch too many trees, make sure my hook points are okay. One other advantage of barbless hooks, yo. Easier to get off of trees. Hey, we just need to find some more prolific risers. Got the bugs, got the precip and cloud cover. We're ready. So what do you do when there's a strong betas hatch? You chuck a nasty indicator rig. The fish are kind of being jerks, honestly. I'm gonna work that riffle out there. Okay. That is in the belly of the beast. There we go. <laughs> Psych, joke's on you. We told them we're leaving. They believed us. Decent looking brown. I think it's... Yeah, it's on the Betis Thread Frenchy finger. Oh, yeah, he's a fatty. Come on. Yeah, can't hardly get his head turned here. Oh, it's not brown, it's a rainbow. Real more line in and use the easy rod 
Put you to the side. Now I'm hooked. Oh. oh. He gone. So that fish I just lost, I was sort of lucky to catch well. It was actually in the ripple. But uh, that indicator does not play well with the foam line emerger eaters. So Cheech is switching to a yarn indicator rig, which will land a lot softer. And we can just hit those fish right beneath the surface, right in the face where it hurts. So we're not messing around. Brushing it out, treat it, and then chuck it. Fish on? It's a fish. No. Net. Get him. Jobber. Wet my hand. You did wet your hand sufficiently? Yeah. Let him go like this. Rainbow trout. You thought about it, took off. Yarn indicator rig did some work. Yarn indicator rig and a little just black pair to go and looking betas. There you go. Betas are here. Just not too many fish. Snarfing them off the surface. Dang, man, that looks good in there. Yep. That was a, a non committal. Yeah, so when they're not eating the dries, streamer game. <laughs> well, dry flies, nymphs, and streamers now. What do you eat? Well, old Pat Gaffney told me to throw black streamers if nothing else is happening. So why not just throw it anyway? Why not? We're getting them on nymphs. Healthy rainbow. Nice. this a game winner? It could be. It's been this fish all day, I think. The ground. Strong fish. Strong water. Oh, oh, nice fish. Oh, get him. Get him. You need me to chase him? Um, I might need you to net him. I can do that. That's a toad. Yeah, nice fish. Oh, dude. Oh, you still got him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That thing has a has some jaws. You get in the front. Okay, good plan. All 
All right, there he is. There he was. Got him. Oh, dude. Oh. Boom. I just squished your streamer box, but boom. Freak. Okay. 22 inches. And there he goes. Wow. That was a monster. Boom. Oh, sweet. That was awesome, dude. Well, that's exactly what we were trying to do, right? Yeah. We knew we'd drum up some bigger interest with the bigger flies. Man, not too shabby. That was the slider? Yeah, that's that's the Thin Mint slider that we have a video oh, of. Thin Mint slider. Link in the description. What is the prize again? What's the prize? Trip for two to Biscayne Bay. Holy. Good, good. I haven't even moved yet. My arms are too tired to pick up the anchor. Same one, probably. But he's a nice one, man. Yeah. You want to switch again? This is called the, Hen the Henry's two-step. I threw two small streamers for a fair bit. This one's not as big, but... Still a good fish. We got him. Shout out. Oh, this one ate the other one. What do you know? Give him a drink. And streamer day. This uh, cloudy, rainy stuff means betas, but guess what it also means? It's streamers. Nicely done. That's okay. probably 41 inches of fish in two fish. <laughs> that was pretty nice. All right, well. Let's see if there's another one that wants to play. All right, so here we are finishing up the float. We caught them on dries, nymphs, streamers. I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper like a gentleman. And this is our Sims rep, Patrick Sheehy. Can you show him what? Only the finest. Michelob Ultra. I think his wife was guiding him down the river. <laughs> she brought the beer. So like, I think this has more alcohol content and that one does too. So <laughs> anyway, that's why Patrick is a little tipsy. You've heard rumors. Anyway, and so. And Ben, don't forget Ben in the back of the boat. Yeah. yeah. With the fancy ben. waders. He's like, I don't want to be on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, Ben's he, already had two Mick Ultras. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a little soused, as we call it in Bernal. But anyway, super fun day. 